Good day everybody. My name is Paul Akinusi. This is another our installation. Installer Paul. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name of the channel is Installer Paul. My name is Paul Akinusi Akinulua once again. And if you want to learn about solar, CCTV, intercom, electric fence wire, anything that has to relate with ELV system, you can come to our YouTube channel to come and learn about it. So this is another installation. We are installing 10 solar panels here with 4 tall tubular battery, kizer battery. And that's our staff on the roof fixing the panel. So we fix it 5 on the left hand side and 5 on the right hand side. This is the unboxing of the felicity inverter although we have another separate uh youtube video on our channel which you can check where i do the full unboxing of felicity 5kv 48 vdc inverter that's the inverter itself uh, those are the cover for the dc part of the inverter that's high and one of our staff uh, and two of our staff now that's Copatimotil serving our office and Lakan also learning from us. Both of them are already trained engineer and electrical installers. Um, that's we ourselves working on the system, removing the nylon. And this is a warm month felicity but uh, we have two major types when it comes to mounting we have the warm mounts and we have what we call the tabletop inverters this particular model is warm mount felicity inverter and it comes with two breakers those are our other guys that's us why fixing it to the wall so we are trying to check all of the solar panels that we will be using here that's our so as pastor t we are using the rope to draw the panel from the ground down to the top so those are the both are not and one thing we normally do is that before nailing those solar rack the interlock we ensure that we put can you see on it we ensure that we put flash band so there will be no leakage on the roof and at the same time we also ensure that each panel has a uh, binding wire that we use to tile it in case of every breeze and maybe collapse of the uh, rack the solar rack so that's me explaining it out so what we have here is a knife changeover that switch between the generator and the inverter system so if you bring it down generator up there is inverter and the way i set the inverter the moment low below 150 volts it will not work and on the inverter itself you can see the input and output voltage so the freaker there is to set between the inverter and the generator inverter slash then so this other board this other marine this is the marine board that we installed here we have another breaker here so the breaker is to select between nepa and inverter nepa slash gen and inverter and that's our protective circuit we have our pwm charge controller hub there 60 amps and our the trip the breaker off the whole system will be off although the way we design it even if the inverter is off it can still be charging in the background and you can decide probably maybe they are using they have a small gen and a big gen they are using the small gen i told them that they can trip off the inverter because the small gen is just 2.5 kv and it can power the inverter so when they are using the small gen they trip both the input side and the output side of the inverter so we have that our protective circuit on the protective circuit we have two breakers one ac breaker and one dc breaker. 
the AC breaker breaks between the solar panel and the charge controller and beside that breaker we put what we call that one is an DC surge protector so in case of a probably thunder strike excess voltage or excess current the surge protector will protect it and it's green now I inform them that the moment it turns to red it means the surge protector is bad that other breaker is the AC breaker the first one is DC breaker this one is the AC breaker and we have what we call an AVC or regulator there that's voltage current regulator and I set it to the minimum of 450 volts so the moment the electricity go below 150 volts the inverter will not be charged so that low voltage will not spoil the inverter and the moment the voltage is beyond 235 volts it will also stop charging so we put the AVC regulator between the inverter and the mains the mains can either be from the generator generating state or from the power holding complaint so that's the way I, I set it up and on the AVC regulator you can see the input voltage and the current that the inverter is drawing per time in some design I can decide to put that AVC regulator in both the input and the output part of the load but in this particular design I put it on the input part to rec to control the input voltage and you know Felicity already have an internal mechanism within it that control the output voltage at no input voltage Felicity I set it to bring out only 220 volts so what we'll be bringing out is 220 volts and that's the charge controller I'm explaining the charge controller to the owner of the facility that on the charge controller you can see the voltage as it's coming from solar panel entering into the inverter although we also have another type of felicity inverter that is an hybrid inverter where both the charge controller and the inverter are inbuilt inside the inverter but this particular design we separated the charge controller and we use the felicity inverter which is not an hybrid inverter and there i'm explaining how they can easily operate the inverter check the input voltage check the output voltage i set the frequency to 50 hertz because that's what we use here in nigeria and i set the low voltage that the moment the inverter gets to a certain low voltage the inverter will trip off so that it can save the life of the battery and i also informed them that what we are using here is four tall tubular batteries and on the battery we have different indicators and each of these indicators represents the current state of the volume and the density of the electrolyte inside so the moment it goes beyond the or red goes upward it means it's still working but the moment it goes below that red sign it means the uh, battery needs to be quickly attended to by hiding harder distilled water and elect or electrolyte as the case may be and i inform them that the battery needs to be maintained once every six six months once every six six months we top up the distilled water and after topping up the distilled water they can have some of the water coming on ground as normal and all they need to do is just to wet the ground and use a rag to mop it because the water is very corrosive so they need to first wet it with normal water before they now clean it up if you want to install this device call on us thank you very much and stay blessed